The Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives arrived in Taipei despite Beijing's repeated warnings against traveling to Taiwan, which China considers its territory. Pelosi and her delegation disembarked from a U.S. Air Force transport plane at Sunshan Airport in downtown Taipei and were greeted by Taiwan's Foreign Minister Joseph Wu and the top U.S. representative to Taiwan, Sandra Outkirk. The Taiwanese president will meet Pelosi at the president's office before having lunch with her. Pelosi's flight was one of the most closely watched ever, with more than 100,000 people following him as he departed Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, on Flight Radar 24. Upon arrival, Pelosi said, the visit of our congressional delegation to Taiwan demonstrates America's unwavering commitment to supporting Taiwan's vibrant democracy. Our visit as part of our broader trip to the Indo-Pacific region, including Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, and Japan, and focuses on mutual security, economic partnership, and democratic governance. Our discussions with Taiwan's leadership will focus on reaffirming our support for our partner and advancing our common interests, including promoting a free and open Indo-Pacific region. America's solidarity with Taiwan's 23 million people is more important than ever as the world faces the choice between autocracy and democracy. Our visit is one of several congressional delegations to Taiwan, and it in no way contradicts long-standing United States policy based on the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979, the U.S.-China joint communiques. The United States continues to oppose unilateral attempts to change the status quo. China's foreign ministry condemned Pelosi's visit to China, saying it seriously undermines peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. The American politician landed on the island at about 10.45 p.m. local time. The PLA said it had put an unknown number of Su-35 multi-role fighters in the air when the plane she was believed to have been on approached the island. However, Taiwan's defense ministry said the Chinese state media reports were false and that no aircraft crossed the Taiwan Strait. According to the information aggregation account, China will conduct live fire exercises around the breakaway island starting August 4. The account added, these drills will be conducted close to Taiwan's territorial waters. China considers Taiwan to be part of the mainland, although Taipei has a democratically elected government and considers itself separate. 